What's up guys, this is Ryan bringing you some Boom Beach. Wanted to go over some hookah strategy with you guys. So, I've been using five boats of heavies and three boats of zookas lately and I'm loving it. Because more heavies means zookas stay alive longer. So I wanted to show you this base because it looks kind of tough at the surface, but there's a lot that it's not doing very well. So the first thing I do when I look at a base like this is check the statues. And one eye statue, that's kind of a gift already. Next, I check the prototypes. There are two going on. Uh, Doom Cannon is usually kind of tough to handle, but in this case, it won't be that bad. Now, another gift I have, two Boom Cannons that do basically nothing. So I only have three to worry about, plus the Doom Cannon. So if, what I do from here, I check what Boom Cannons I'm going to GBE, and one I'm going to shock, because boom cannons are generally what I worry about the most with hookah. So with this setup, I'm probably going to GBE these guys, and then I can shock these two and get all of this stuff in with it. So that's the key thing. As much as I can shock, it'll just get easier and easier. Another thing this layout is doing that could work on is this rocket placement. Now the rockets are right up front, so I won't have to worry about them very long. With the rockets, they can do nothing, they can do everything, it depends on where they're placed. Generally you want them kind of out of the way so that it's tough to get to them. If they're behind the headquarters or somewhere off in the distance where they can keep firing on my hookah for a long time, that'll uh, do the most damage. So right away I can get rid of these pretty quickly. And then when I get to the headquarters, all that will be shooting at me is a shock launcher and a couple of stuff. A couple of defenses that aren't really going to do anything. So when I approach this, what I'm going to do is try to figure out how I can get to these as quickly as I can. So I'm not wasting gun mode energy, shocking them over and over and over. So what I'm going to do is come in from the left side... Uh, right here first, bring them in and take out the boom cannon and the doom cannon as quickly as I can. So let's give it a go, see how it goes. So right away I'll throw some barrage. And then that's done. Artillery and artillery. And we'll be underway. Now my rockets, I can generally medkit when I get close enough, and that'll protect them as much as they need to be protected. So they're coming in. When I get close enough, I'm going to start shocking. I missed the doom can, that's too bad. Oh well, so I'll start getting my medkits ready. For a medkit. And med kit. Let's get a better shock this time. There we go. And it looks like we're taking it pretty nicely. Throw another med kit on these in case the rocket turns on them. Now we're losing some heavies, but we're doing pretty well for ourselves overall. Now I can actually just flare over here right now. The rockets are all gone. I'll smoke my azukas. Need one more. And all I really have left to hit is the shock launcher. I have 77 gunboat energy. Okay. So I can just start throwing right now, and we should be good to go. Now this is a uh, 786 victory points. I could have done a few things better, but this went pretty overall. Yeah. I usually float around 800, and some bases are easy, some are a little tougher, depending on the ice and the prototypes. Hopefully you can use this to kind of improve your layout on your own and make yourself a bit harder of an opponent to handle. And there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, keep booming.